this has all the elements of a sports masterpiece. Ready? Yes. Thank you for asking. Well, the World Junior Tournament has been awesome. There's been some amazing saves, some amazing goals, some great goaltending, and some shoddy goaltending. Hope you've all enjoyed your holidays. Today we're going to get into a bunch of stuff where we look at some clips up until this point because now the tournament gets very interesting. Now we're in the playoffs, preliminaries are done, we're getting to the real business. And I think maybe Canada can pull it off, maybe Russia, maybe USA, who knows. We're also going to look at what goaltending poise is. What does that mean? As an NHL scout, what do we look for when we look at goaltenders with respect to their poise? And as well, we're going to show you a midline rebound control drill today featuring a bright prospect named Cole Sheffield. And it's a cool little drill. You might not have seen it before. With our senior executive vice president, Jason Ben Bronson, he walks through one of his top students, Cole Sheffield, with a midline rebound control drill. Let's get going. Okay, I want you to take your blocker hand and your stick and put it behind your back, okay? So, you're just doing gut traps here, but we're not using our blocker arm at all. So wherever this puck goes, you gotta be really accurate as to where you're putting that glove. So it's not just gonna be right down the middle. Hunter's gonna be hitting you anywhere on your chest and I want you to bring that glove wherever that puck's gonna be hitting you. Nice try, bring that glove over further. Nice try, good. Right with that glove. A little more up. Go to the glove side. Yep, good. A little higher. Yeah, it's good. Keep going. All over the place. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Give him time in between. Two more. Good. Last one. Okay, good. All right, Cole, why did, why did we isolate just your glove hand there? Uh, so I make sure I'm trapping them with my glove on certain parts of my body. Yeah, exactly, right? So we want to make sure that glove is doing the majority of the work whenever you're making a gut trap, right? So the blocker's there just for support, all right? And some of the ones out this side snuck out a little bit because you didn't have that blocker there to help you, and that's fine. But we're really working on getting that glove wherever that puck is going to be hitting you on your chest to make sure that it stays in there. We're not just basketing and hoping it's going to fall into that basket. We're really getting it wherever that puck's going to be hitting us. Here in our first clip, we see Sweden versus USA and a poor goal. Nobody would argue against it. But here's the cause and effect. You get a long shot like that, you can't catch cleanly. Look at what happens down the road with this trail of errors following it. So, initial dump, doesn't catch it cleanly. Hugging the post with his rear leg exposed, they bank a puck off it. I'm not trying to pick on this Swedish goalie, but here's a second mess up. We got a zone set up, we got a wide shot, slow getting back to the backside, and he chooses to RVH on a gapped puck. You can't do this. You've got to get out to the top of the crease. He had time. He just chose not to get back to the top of the crease. Please don't hate me, Sweden, but we're going to show a third goal where this goalie gets victimized, and it's a matter of inches, and it's a decision. Here we've got a pass to the side. The Royal Road is fully covered with defensive zone support. You've got to trust the guy in the back door to tie that guy up. If he grabs one more foot of depth, this puck that misses his arm by one inch doesn't go in. And you can see from this angle here, just misses the arm. One inch more of depth, that's a save. I don't want to be crazy negative. Here's a positive. Here's a great read on a turnover at the own blue line. Look at what he does here. He gets to his target position on his feet. He doesn't unnecessarily slide, sets his feet, makes a great save. In this last clip here, I gotta pick a little bit on the USA goalie because fundamentals matter, inches matter. He gets a turnover breakaway with a great lead pass and look at his stick positioning, heel on the ice. That's all it takes at this level. What does the term poise mean as it relates to goaltending? You've heard me use it before, but I wanted to break down exactly what it is. But before we get into the poise discussion, please subscribe. I'm not gonna ask you to pound the button. I'm not gonna ask you to caress the button. Just do something to that button. What is poise? Here we go. 
Carey Price is a living embodiment of poise. When I was scouting for the Toronto Maple Leafs, I went out to watch him play in Tri-Cities, practicing daily his games, and he had poise in spades then, and he has it now. What is poise? Well, poise is an economy of motion, a calmness, just a basic, relaxed way to play the game. Now, it can go too far to one extreme, but also it can go way far to the other extreme, which is what we see. Now, if you're a goaltender like I was, that was always an elbows and rear ends kind of guy, scrambling, diving, making these fancy saves, that's not going to translate up to the next level. So as an NHL scout, that's one thing we look at. If you're playing at a given level, and you're basically just making saves by the seat of your pants, flashy, flamboyant, everybody's like, wow. Number one, that doesn't lead itself to consistency. Over a 10 game period, flamboyant, flashy goalies aren't gonna be consistent. And the other thing is, when you move up to the next level, if you're a flashy, flamboyant goalie at one level, it's likely not gonna translate when the speed of play increases. The reads have to be there, and if you're not making good intelligent reads because of your, your computer, your goaltending, intelligent anticipator meter, you're gonna have a problem moving up to the next level. So as an NHL scout, junior scout, one thing we look for goaltenders at a set level is, is there a calmness, a patience, a control, a level-headed way to play. Now, of course, you're gonna have to get out of that from time to time to make these amazing emergency saves during the chaos, but for the most part, the majority of your output needs to be a consistent, calm approach. Look like Carey Price. Look like a young Devin Levy. Did I pronounce that right? Lee V. Okay, thanks. Anyways, let's get in to our next segment. I want to talk to you about a premium program that I've offered for 20 years. I created Mentor Program Training two decades ago. Here's why you want to take advantage of it. I firmly believe goaltenders now are getting a ton of great goalie coaching. With the Instagram goalie coaching, YouTube, there's lots of stuff you can learn online. But here's where the Mentor Program is different. I'm a guy that's played in the NHL, very briefly, because of injury, coached in the NHL, scouted in the NHL, coached Hall of Famers all the way up to seven years old, and I've been doing this for 30 years. This is a chance, this is a program for you to leverage that type of experience. That's why I created the Mentor Program. When you do a million lessons, you get really good at doing lessons. When I was golfing a lot, I would go to the driving range all the time, get some lessons, and I could do great things on the driving range. But when I played the game, sometime it wasn't there. Did I need a 100-yard shot over water, stop it on the green? Of course I could do it in the driving range, come out when I'm playing my buddies, poop my diaper. So the mentor program, besides teaching you the technical and tactical aspects of the game, it teaches you how to play the game how to understand the game, how to make intelligent reads, how to make smart decisions with the puck. So the mentor program, number one, addresses all your technical and tactical decision making and fixes it with a plan of action, with a scope of sequence done by me personally. The second element is the personal relationship with the mentor program with both the parents and the goaltender. I speak to these goalies after every single game. I see them monthly. I see them weekly in some cases. And this premium program is available for anybody, anywhere. For the most part, I see people in person and remotely. Once we get to the spring and the summer and everything lets down here with COVID, we're gonna be getting back into it. And that's why I'm bringing up this program right now. I'm accepting three applications for this upcoming season post COVID. Continue on here and let's see what else we offer. Of course, we assess your nutrition. Your sports nutrition is crucial for you to grow as an athlete, and we do that with our certified CAMPRO nutrition expert. We assess your off-ice fitness and your goalie-specific detailing as far as training goes off the ice. That's a key element if you want to get better than the competition. And in the mentor program, that's a huge facet of what we offer. Now, we also have a detailed relationship, a family advising relationship with the athlete and the parent. We network with the parents, talk to them frequently. What's the path forward? Where's your kid? Where's he want to get? and how can we get there? And this final element is the key element, I think, that makes the mentor program successful and all these goalies you see here over the years that we've been successful with. I leverage my Rolodex. As an NHL scout and coach, I have contacts with all the D1 programs, major, junior, and in fact, last week, there was an emergency call for a D1 fill-in, four-year full ride, leveraged our connections, we got a kid placed on a D1 program with one phone call. 
So leveraging my Rolodex and the contacts is great, but I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm not going to do it if you can't walk through that door and you don't have the ability. But what I will say is when you train with me and you do the mentor program, I will open up the appropriate doors at the appropriate time so you won't get overlooked. So at the end of the day, I'm not guaranteeing anything with the mentor program, but take a look at our track record of success. And the mentor program isn't teaching you how to stop the puck. It's everything involved in your journey from where you're at now to where you want to go, whether it's the NHL, whether it's Division One, whether it's just finally making AAA. You need to take advantage of the premium mentor program that we've offered for 20 years. Not for everybody. Maybe you don't have the ability. Maybe you don't have the desire. And it is premium price, so it's not for everybody with respect to finances. But reach out at our contact info. We'd love to chat with you about it. And in the spring and summer, I'm kicking off our next version of the mentor program by selecting three students. So if you're interested, reach out to me and I can give you some more details.